Yankees fans, yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, all like almost stars. Yankees fans, let's talk about Aaron Boone. As you know, I'm not a Boone hater, but, but, Aaron Boone has become low energy. Not that he wasn't before, but you can see it. It looks like he's losing sleep. It looks like he's not eating, okay? I know I sound like an asshole, okay? But it's me analyzing Aaron Boone from the beginning of the season till now. He's even calling Neil Walker Todd Walker on radio sports uh, shows. He seems not to be focused. It doesn't mean that Boone is doing a bad job. It means that maybe the job of being Yankees manager is getting to him. So with that being said, it's reflecting on the New York Yankees. The Yankees are playing lousy. You got John Carlos Stanton making $25 million per season. A player that's supposed to be stepping up when his team is not hitting. They almost got no hit yesterday. Where is the fire? I would like to see John Carlos Stanton break a bat when he strikes out at least. At this point, the Yankees need maybe a brawl. They need something spectacular to wake them up. Here's the difference between Joe Girardi and Aaron Boone. Girardi was a narcissistical, egotistical asshole, okay? You can see in Girardi, a player rubbed him the wrong way. He'll probably give hints here and there that he's not happy with the player. Aaron Boone is just Aaron Boone. Something negative happens, he's Aaron Boone. Something positive happens, he's Aaron Boone. And it's not to say Aaron Boone as a rookie manager that he hasn't done a good job. Obviously, he has. But the Yankees are in a stretch where the Oakland Athletics are about to topple them for home field advantage for that one game playoff. At this point, the difference between Girardi and Boone is that Girardi would have Stanton bat seven to send uh, at least a signal. The things he did with A-Rod. A-Rod wasn't performing. He treated him like a dog. This is what Aaron Boone has to do with some of these players on the New York Yankees. Something out of the ordinary needs to happen. The Yankees need to snap out of it, wake up, go on a good win streak, or the Oakland Athletics are going to surpass them. And the Yankees are going to have to play that one-game playoff at that stupid Coliseum over there. That's not even a baseball field. In Oakland, where their home run ball is not going to be effective because that field, stadium, whatever it is, it's not a home run hitting ballpark. You might as well have Sonny Gray start that first game. Because we all know Sonny Gray has had success over there. He knows how to pitch over there. But I'm just joking, right? That's where the Yankees are headed. Okay, they had all this time to experiment at least with Sheffield. They didn't call him up. Now we got to stick with Lynn, with Gray. Even uh, CeCe Sabathia at times. Tanaka has been pitching great. But I only say CeCe Sabathia because he's old. You, you, can't, you don't know what you're going to get with CeCe Sabathia. Hap has been great. Who do you give the ball to, Hap or Severino? In my opinion, Hap. Because you have Severino as a backup, just in case. So I'm sorry to say this. I'm going to take a line from uh, Trump. Um, Aaron Boone has become low energy. Aaron Boone has become Jet Bush. He needs to snap out of it. The pressure, if he can't handle the pressure of New York, I mean, it's reflecting on him physically at this point. All I know is the low energy that the Yankees are projecting, it comes from the manager, okay? The manager needs to do something drastic. He needs to wave his magical wand do a magic trick, take something out of his uh, wizard hat or magician's hat, and do something with this team because the Yankees don't have time, period. When your player that's supposed to be carrying your team that's making all this money, I see comments saying, but it's not his fault the Marlins gave him all that money. Uh, shut up. It, that comes with the territory. You sign that contract, you're being paid millions of dollars per season. That comes with the territory. People are supposed to critique a player that after the game – is sleeping in the penthouse with a view of the Empire State Building or something. If that's the worst criticism that player gets, then wow, he's living a great life, don't you think? So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you see Aaron Boone as being low energy? I do. I see it on him physically. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from RealWineNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.